I want to do a, a rough and finish of this little tab sticking out here, the purple shaded area. First, since it's at an odd angle, I may want to establish a work coordinate system normal to the face. And I can go to the dynamic work coordinate system there. And plane number one's a good enough name. I, I know and understand what that's for. What I'll do next is go to the toolpath. Dynamic nil. We'll dynamically remove the excess material by picking the machining region. And I can pick the face or let me let me set this up here in the in the chaining dialog box. Faces for loops, okay? So when I put my cursor there, I've, I've selected the face, which is the same as that loop. Now, in Mastercam versions in the past, I could pick that one edge, and then it would prompt me to select which face that is common to that one edge, because this face shares that same edge with this face, and uh, we had to specify. But now you get a live preview, and you can just kind of pick the one you like. So that is my machining region and we'll tell it okay. I want to tell it we want to work from the outside in as a uh, core strategy not a cavity strategy and my air regions we'll go ahead and tell it they are the outer open edges which is the front and back edge of this face here and you'll see not only did it pick it and not include the uh, shared edges but it climb, it's got a climb cut direction, and I think that's pretty neat. So let's look at our chain preview, and it shows where the air is in blue, and the crosshatch is red. And the yellow chain goes right through where my uh, commonly shared edges with other solid bodies are. I'm going to tell it OK here. We'll pick a half-inch bull nose end mill. It's got a 62 and a half thousandths radius on the corner. I'll go into the cut parameters, and... Uh, We'll tell it we're going to actually minus 0.05. We're going to cut into, since we've got a radius on the edge of this cutter, uh, we'll cut into the wall a little bit and we'll leave zero on the floor. With that, I think we'll just tell it okay and see what we've got. I'm going to back plot just to make sure we're doing what we said we were going to do. And with the transparent tool, I can kind of see that we're coming through here and yeah, my radius is leaving a little bit of stock on there on this cutter, so we'll call that good. And now I've just got to finish up these uh, shared edges, and I'll use a 2D contour toolpath to do that. Um, in selecting the geometry here, I'm going to pick the opposite of the open edges and go with the shared edges, and I'll just pick the face, and voila. And it's even selected the climb cut direction. I'm thinking it's pretty smart that way. I'll tell it OK. Make sure we're using the same tool here. I'm going to leave minus 0.0625 thousandths on the wall, zero on the floors. And let's adjust the lead in and lead out just so it's a little more conservative than what we're seeing there. And uh, I'll leave, make the lead out the same. And with that, we'll just tell it OK and take a look at it and back plot just to make sure we're right. And I think we're in pretty good shape. The cuss goes right to the edge of the face we're working with. And, and I like that. 